hello friends today I will show you how to insert data into your MySQL database from Java program using NetBeans for that you have to make a new database into your MySQL open MySQL workbench click on create a new schema in the connected server and type the name of your database I am taking it as user click on apply apply finish see your database has been created just click on this arrow then click on table right click on it and create click on create table here type the name of your table I am taking it as user detail now click on column name here type the name of the columns in your table now just follow my steps I am taking the name of the column as username and taking it data type as varchar and size 20 and select these two checkbox and make the other columns also I have make a table having name user details and having six column. Okay, and now click on apply, apply, finish. See your user detail table has been created. Click on right click on it and click select rows. Here no row is being displayed because our table is empty now. We will insert the data into this table using Java program. Now open NetBeans, right click there, click on new project, select Java application, click next, type the name of your Java application, I am taking it as project1 and click finish. Remove the unwanted comment. Now, this is the default package that has been created by the NetBeans. Right click on it, click on new, then click on JFrame form, and then type the name of your JFrame. I'm taking it as user frame, click finish. New JFrame has been created, having name user frame. Now we will design our frame. Just use these controls for making your form. Now follow my steps. We will insert the labels as many labels as many data we want to insert into our database our database has six columns so six labels and also six fields for inserting data then right click on it click on add the text and type username like this change the name of all the labels Now for username we are using JTEX field and for the password we will use password field 
because we cannot show our password to the others so let's go and for the rest of the field we will use text field only other side okay. now just now click on this blue pen right click set layout click on absolute layout now click on this duplicate and just copy remove this sizes of the text field now we have to change their variable name like this is a text field for the username so I will type txt underscore username like this we have to change all the text fields name you can choose your desired names or can use my names now insert a button Right click on it, click the duplicate, send it. Also change its name. I will write Gideon Sunny. Okay, now our JFrame has been completed. Now we will right click on submit button, click on event, action, action performed. It will redirect you. To this code, you can also go to your JFrame by clicking this design. This is our source code, and here we will write the code to insert our data into the database. First, we have to get the data data in the text fields. So, here I will make some variables like username. Okay. Here you can press control plus spacebar to see the hint given by the admins. That is txt username dot get text. Again you can press the control plus spacebar and here is a method get text. Press enter and send it away. Like this we have to get all the data from the text fields here we find an error that is incompatible types here we will write string dot wo and put this See, the error has gone. Screen never mind. We have taken all the data from the text field into our code. Now we will connect our Java program with our database. For that, just right click here and say LB none. I 
inside import we have to import this connection file right click fix import select this java.sql dot connection press ok this error has been shown Here you will write the name of your database that is user then username of your database that is by default root and the password of your MySQL database just name password after that We will write the query of insert that is insert into our table name that is user detail values and put the question mark. I have put 6 question mark because I want to insert 6 values into my database and then write yes we need to close that string parameters 1 and then here we will write username because at first position we have to insert username like this we have to set all the positions file number email after setting all this write int i equal to usmt dot aggregate update this method will update your database and insert these values into your database now we will have to check whether our data has been inserted or not for this write this if statement direction pane dot show message dialog box and in here the message I will write that I serve that is not saved if high value will be greater than 0 then it means our database has been updated and our data has been inserted if it is not 
then it will show a message that data is not saved. So here is an error. Let's see why we write that. So for that we have to make a test block with section three. Then we will also add a message dialog box to show if there is any exception arise and give a error base. Okay, so all is that work. One more thing that for connecting our Java program with our MySQL database, we have to add a connector file into our database. So for that, go to your project libraries, right click on the libraries and click add jar or folder. And here is the connector file. You can download it from Google. MySQL connector Java file. Click on it and click open. See our jar file has been successfully inserted into our project. Now we will have to uh, start this JFriend from our main class. So for that purpose, we will call it. Just go to file and click save. And we already saved now. Click on project, right click and click run. Now your project will be started running. See, type the username and type it out. Sahil underscore test. After I will write Sahil dot dollar minus Malor. Write number zero four one four nine zero six four. You can contact me anytime. My email ID is Sahil underscore Tal at the rate hotmail. Now I will click on submit and it will pop up a message that the data is saved. Means our database has been updated and our row has been inserted into our database. Click on OK and close it. Now we will check that, uh, whether our data has been updated or not. Go to your MySQL workbench, refresh all the schemas, click on user today, right click click on select rows see our data has been updated so in this way we can insert the data into your MySQL database from the Java program thank you very much have a nice day